what's up guys welcome back uh, to my new video and in this video i'll be showing you how to install hydrogen os open beta version 6 for oneplus 3t and beta 12 for oneplus 3 so right now i'm installing on oneplus 3t that will be open beta version 6 so i'll show you the os which i'm running now is oxygen os open beta version 5 and which is based on Android 7.1.21 with the security patch of 1st March 2017. So to install that, make sure you have TWRP recovery installed on your device. You can also install with the official stock recovery, but you won't be able to remove the Chinese apps which are pre-installed in that room. So what we'll do is first we'll download the files which, which I have mentioned in the description below. So after you download those files, just place it inside the internal memory and I'll show you where I have placed I have a folder called room inside hydrogen i have placed the official version of hydrogen os along with that i have placed uh, the blotter script which will remove all the applications uh, unwanted chinese applications uh, from the room and i also have super user file which i'll be installing to uh, have uh, root access so first what we'll do is we'll reboot a device to twrp recovery so once it, the device boots to TWRP recovery, if you are using Oxygen OS, you can uh, just do a factory reset or if you are on some other room, you just uh, have to wipe everything leaving internal memory. So right now I was running Oxygen OS, so what I do is I just do a complete wipe, go back and install the Hydrogen OS. So this is the file, I swipe to confirm flash. So after you flash the room file, don't uh, directly flash the script file or the super user because it will give you issues while uh, completing the initial setup after reboot. So first what we'll do is we'll reboot the system without flashing any of those files and complete the initial setup and again back to recovery and install the other files. So after device reboots, just select the language over here and complete the initial setup. So after we complete initial setup, now what we do is we again go back to TWRP recovery and remove all these Chinese apps which are pre-installed on this room. So again reboot to TWRP recovery. After booting to TWRP recovery, we go again back to the same folder and first flash the file decoder script. After this is done, we go back again and we flash super user file. So now I won't be flashing a Google app package because this gave me a few issues while installing or while completing the initial setup and if I had completed the initial setup and then flashed Google package then I was not able to open Google Play Store. So I'll what I'll do is I'll go with my other method which I normally use to install Google app package and which is very easy guys you don't have to do anything much. Uh, you can just uh, continue watching the video and you'll get to know uh, how to do that. So now once everything is done, we reboot a device. So now you can see your device reboots and uh, almost 80% of your Chinese app would have gone and few these apps will be available like uh, Amap and all these things. For that you can just uh, hold them and uninstall. So you can do this uh, later guys. Now first what we'll do is we'll show you how to install Google Play Store. As you can see there is no Google Play Store uh, available in this room. So you can follow this process to install Google Play Store. What I do is I first install the Google installer which is uh, 2.0. This is Google installer. I go here settings and I select unknown sources, enable unknown sources. Now I click on install. So here guys this package is also outdated and uh, it doesn't support Android 7.1 or Android 7.0. So what I have done is I have manually downloaded all the apps which will be required uh, to install. So that those apps I have placed inside the hydrogen folder. So you can see first will be the Google account manager, Google Play services and the last will be Google service framework. So these three apps you will be, you will be requiring and uh, I'll mention all these three apps in the description below you can download from there. So first what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll open 
Google installer package. So once it starts and uh, just follow the video to install the same. So now you get a uh, message of Google service framework. If you click on yes, it will say Google uh, service framework app not installed. So just go back to the file manager and uh, go here Google service framework you can install manually and you can go back here so you can see you will be getting a tick mark on the first application the same process you have to follow for all these applications which will be installing now so next is Google account manager if I click install the same error I get here I again go back to this and Google account manager I install here and I go back here you can see the second application is also installed and the next is Google Play services if I click on install this app is also not getting installed so what I do is Google Play service I'll install manually and go back here so after that these three apps uh, will be installed automatically with the help of Google installers so just have to click install and you are done and now everything is done just open Google Play Store and use your Google account to complete the setup of Google Play Store so after this is done guys you can see your Google Play Store is working properly and apps are also getting downloaded uh, if you guys uh, doesn't get your contacts uh, in your contact list so you just do one thing you go to apps and give permission to Google contacts and here it is you have just have to grant the permission and after this just reboot your device and you'll have all your contacts available in the contact application so guys after the installation process has been completed now we'll just take a quick look what all things have been changed in this and and the main thing what they say is they have fixed the battery drain issue and the heating issue on, on hydrogen OS and uh, Yesterday I used the same software uh, just for testing and uh, just to see what all changes are available in this and I would I was really happy with the performance because there was not even a single percent of uh, heating issue which I faced and battery was also great. After uh, completing this video I will again test it one or two cycles of the battery usage and I'll also post the screenshots on my Facebook page if you guys want to check it out you can check out the description and see the screenshots on the Facebook page that is the main thing what they say is that heating issue on OnePlus 3T has been solved and the, they have also fixed the battery drain uh, issue and they also say is they have redesigned user interface for incoming calls yes actually they have redesigned and they have redesigned the phone application you can see the start contacts comes over here or the favorite contacts and you have the call logs available here and the contact option available over here so all these three options have been shifted towards the left side and user interface of incoming calls you can see if you get a call uh, right now I don't have any secondary device to give a call so you guys can check it out and they also say the desktop home screen clock widgets font has been changed so you can see this is a thicker they have just increased the thickness of the clock widget and it is easily visible now so this is a change in um, clock widget font and uh, next we go to settings and they have uh, optimized few settings over here which makes uh, easy to locate if you you can see this has been changed and the design of this has been changed this is optimization of menus easier to find options in this so they also say they have enhanced the audio for bluetooth devices uh, I don't have a Bluetooth device or any Bluetooth speaker or else I would have tested and high power consumption management yes they have done because I have tested it yesterday I have used this software yesterday and the battery life was amazing and none of the applications consume more battery uh, power battery optimization has been done very nicely on this it's very fast uh, compared to oxygen os i can use this software as a daily driver so and in the change logs they have one more change that is related to cloud service which uh, 
normally I don't use. So these are the changes what they have mentioned on their official website and uh, I'll mention all the change logs inside the description below. You guys can check it out. I would like to prefer you guys uh, to install this ROM because this is one of the best ROM I have ever seen till now which is very fast everything works great in this you have a great battery life and no heating issues at all on this so that's all in this video guys uh, hope you like the video if you like the video do give a thumbs up and uh, if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day